Hey guys, welcome to Expedition History. I am your host, Avery, for the day. Okay, so we will be talking about some Hot Wheels I've collected over the years and the history behind them. So, not many people know that Hot Wheels started off in 1967, but then it wasn't fully started until 1968, technically. So, between the two years, they made 16 cars that were the Sweet 16, or the first 16 cars they ever made. These two here, Custom Cougar, Custom Firebird, these ones down here, the Python, and then this one here, the Custom Barracuda, those are all part of the Sweet 16 plus some other ones that I don't have quite yet. Some other cars are are in here too, from 69 all the way up to 1977 as the end of the Redline years. They have many different cars, like these two. The fire truck and the tow truck are called the heavyweights. They made a total of four different types of these dragsters. The mongoose and then a yellow one that's a snake and then they made the mongoose two and the snake two let's see you also could see that there is a super shiny bar up here that is my mustang or boss hoss from i believe 1969 that is a club car one of three that you could get if you subscribed or you made a subscription to the company back then. And then they also made some custom cases. I'll show you the difference between the real Redline wheels and anniversary cars and some fake ones in Johnny Lightning. <coughs> so that those are real Redline wheels. Same with over here. These are real Redline wheels. There are many different types of Redlines. Now let's take a look at a fake one. Or this isn't fake, this is actually Johnny Lightning. This is about the same amount of rarity as some of them in here. Some are more rare, some are less. This is a fake. This is a... Uh, actually a kit if you don't know this back here get it okay here it's got five spoke wheels these came out in the 80s and 90s this is not real they you may recognize it because some of these are collector cars but I don't collect those types of cars next up you have a, a few cars that you may be wondering well are these real well, your question is, are these real? Then, if you have one of these, this is fake. It's a anniversary car. I believe that you can pick a set of these up for $40, so it's still pretty rare. So that's about $8 a car. This here, because it has the 50th anniversary sign, that is fake. Up here... Because it has the vintage signs, I, I believe those are 40th anniversaries, those are fake. But these ones in here are real. And yes, it is possible to find them with in the original package. Okay, so moving on. We have many different types of cars. Some of them are in their packages. This is full of cars, this is full of cars. Some of these are colored on back there, sadly. And then this here is called the steering rig. These are also quite rare. Let me just pick this up. Okay, so, as you can see on the bottom, this will fit right into here. If I can get it, okay. And then, you twist this back steering wheel, and it turns. These are quite rare. You can pick one up on eBay for around fifty to three hundred dollars mint in their package. Um that if they're mint then they'll be on the higher end. 
If they're not, they'll be on the lower end. These are some military trucks I've picked up over the years, some on eBay, some other places. So basically, now we're going to move on to uh, some scene machines. Mention, these are not all the scene machines I have, but these are all the scene machines I have that are the Simpsons related. So, scene machines are when you look into the back and look into the light. Then you'll see a little cool scene. And I'll let you take a look at this one too. There are two different types. There is the nuclear waste van and the camper. You can probably pick these up in good condition like these ones for around 8 to $10 a piece. There are different types of wheels too. There are what you call ultra hots. These are ultra hots. Black walls are there. You have seven spoke. You have five spoke. You have construction. And there are many, many, many more. I call these white walls even though they're technically black walls. These are tri-blade wheels, so there are many different types of variations in the Hot Wheels world. If you're trying to collect many different variations of every single car, then you will have some troubles to find different variations. Different variations could mean that different cars are more rare. So if you do end up finding a red line in your collection, one, I would look up how much it's worth. Two, don't assume that you're 100% rich because these aren't these aren't as rare as you may think. Some of them are rare, like these top three. The first three cost me, um, the first one was $50, the second one was $80, the third one was $50. And then some of the other ones, I got a bag of seven out of flea market for around $7, and I would say about five of them were red lines. And so, yeah, they're, they're kind of like wheat pennies. You won't be rich unless you find the right types. But I thought that this was pretty cool. They also have, they have also made helicopters and airplanes. And this is basically my collection. I have worked very hard over the past two years to create this big collection of Hot Wheels. There's some more up there. These cases are full. Many are in their packages. There's a lot of red lines. I have about 35 with two cases. And uh, there are also these types of Matchbox. These are old ones. I have a case full. Country Time Cars. Ship. An airplane back there. Newer Matchbox. Missing. And this box is full of cars. And I have about a couple hundred more cars in the basement. I thought that was kind of funny. So, this is my collection. I hope you enjoyed. Till next time, this is Avery from Expedition History. I'll see you. Bye.